Hey everybody, Susan Rashawn here, the Techie Mentor. Just a big thank you for listening to this podcast, the Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice channel, where I share all things Virtual Assistant every week with no fluff, just the stuff that gets results. Hello, my friends, and welcome to this week's episode. And today's hot topic is what to do if you have tech issues. So I'm taking this um, out of a page of the book, of my life these last couple of days. So we had unexpected tech issues, which included the router dying. Um, We bought a new router, it didn't work. Um, So just a whole jumbled mess for pretty much two and a half days that we had inconsistent internet. So obviously I work from home, but my husband also is employed and he has a job where he works at home. So we were both impacted. You can imagine how stressful that can be when your internet is constantly up and down and you purchase a solution, but it doesn't work either. Anyway, we finally got it fixed, which brings me to what is your contingency plan if something similar happens? So internet, as is all technology, is a blessing and a curse. And you realize how much you use the internet when you don't have it. (laughs) So really think about, do you currently have a contingency plan for if your internet is down for an extended period of time. Is there something you can do? Do you have a neighbor where you could head over to their house and work for a few hours? Uh, Could you go to another location, um, you know, a coffee shop like a Starbucks or, you know, a local cafe that has free Wi-Fi that you could use? Or do you have hotspots? So a lot of, I think most cell providers now have hotspots on their phone. So I used my phone for a hotspot for many meetings that I had um, because I needed to get on Zoom and have a meeting and the hotspot worked great. Then my cable company, which they were wonderful during this whole process, they also provide free um, Wi-Fi and free hotspots. So you can get onto their Wi-Fi if for some reason yours isn't working, if yours is a local problem like your router or your lines. And there are also mobile hotspots for travel that you can purchase. Um, You know, you can go on to something like Amazon and you can type in the search, um, something like a mobile um, hotspot for travel and it will come up. And these are based on cell towers, just like your hotspot for your cell phone. And you can purchase those as a backup. So my point is, is there are lots of different ways that you can CYA, cover your assets, if you have deadlines that you need to meet and you don't have an internet, but you have to have a contingency plan first. So my contingency plan was my phone, my hotspot, and um, I couldn't leave to go to another location because we had people coming, tech you know, tech people coming to the house. Um, And so I wasn't able to leave. So that wasn't an option for me. And my husband is trying to work, so he wasn't available either. So I worked with the hotspots that were available to me. Now, when it comes to working on hotspots, whether it's your mobile hotspot, maybe it's a purchased device, Here's where the importance of a VPN comes into play. So VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And especially if you are working at a free Wi-Fi location, so a coffee shop or a cafe, you really should be using a VPN because it encrypts your connection. Because people who are, um, I guess, have too much time on their hands, they can hack into a free Wi-Fi and steal information. And so if you're you know, logging into a client's Stripe account or you're logging into um, the back end of one of their tools, for instance, even if you're using your own logins, those can be stolen over a free network. And I always use my VPN um, anytime I'm not on my own home network. And sometimes I use it on my home network as well. And so VPNs are tools that you can buy. I use Surfshark and there's Tunnel Bear. There is a lot of them out there and they are worth the investment. And basically you can just kick them on and they will encrypt your location, but also all the information that's being shared across that network. So I think the goal for this episode is to have you create a contingency plan for yourself if you have tech issues. I had one, but not everybody does. So think about where can you go to get free Wi-Fi, make sure you have some type of VPN available to you and it just installs directly on your devices, even your phone. 
and then look at uh, hotspots if that's an option for you. Does your cable company or your internet provider provide free hotspots? Um, how about your phone? Or purchase a mobile hotspot for those of you who travel consistently. So have that contingency plan because sooner or later, it's gonna happen and I can tell you, we went years without any issues. We had occasional hiccups like anybody, but we were never consistently down over a number of days. And it just turns out that it was our equipment that wasn't working correctly. So we got it fixed, we're up and running, hallelujah. <laughs> uh, but I think it's important for everybody to have that tech contingency plan so you are not missing meetings, you are not missing deadlines because of your lack of connectivity. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. So I hope you found this episode helpful. And again, Surfshark is what I recommend for a VPN. It's one that I've used for years. Uh, it works, it's easy peasy to use. There's really not a whole lot to it. And it's a must anytime you're gonna work on either somebody else's network, a hotspot, or free Wi-Fi. So I'd love to hear from you. If you've had some horror stories when it comes to uh, your attack, please feel free to share below and I will read and respond in kind. But as always, thank you so much for listening and I will see you next time.